Hello everybody, I am Balji Dhaka from Pinnacle Kojik Center and today we are going to discuss paper code 885. 885 this is the paper code and mathematical portion which is from 51 to 75 question we will cover. Now question number 51 is if tangent theta into cos 60 degree is equal to root 3 by 2. It means the entire expression is root 3 by 2. Cos 60 is equal to 1 by 2, then tangent would be root 3. So tangent root 3 is equal to 60 degree. It means theta value is 60 degree. Value of sine we have to 60 minus 15 that is sine 45 we have to tell and sine 45 is 1 by root 2. Next question is number 52 and what is the question? Two train of length 137 meter and 163 meter are running with the speed of 42 km per hour and 48 km per hour respectively towards each other on parallel tracks. In how many seconds will they cross each other? This side is going and this side the train is going with the speed of 42 and 48. So the relative speed would be added because they are in opposite direction. So 42 plus 48 that is 90 km per hour and 90 into 5 by 18 that is 25 that is 25 meter per second. 25 meter per second is the speed and total distance of these total distance would be so the length of these two train we should add 137 plus 163 that is 300 meter. So distance total 300 meter speed is 25 meter per second. It means 12 second in 12 second they will cross each other. Answer is 12. Question number 53. A solid sphere of radius 1 cm is melted to convert into a wire of length 100 cm. The radius of the wire would be how much? Now, and the sphere would be volume of sphere is equal to the uh, you can say volume of cylinder because the wire is converted into cylinder. So, 4 by 3 R, R cube and r is 1 so 1 cube over would be 1 so 4 by 3 pi here is equal to in other words you want to write if you you can write pi r square h pi and r we have to find r square and h is 100 meter 100 centimeter so pi pi cancel and you can say r square would be equal to 4 by 4 by 300 is equal to r square. In other words, r square is equal to 1 by 75 and to 75 you can also write 5 root 3. 5 root 3 that is root 3 is 1.732 and into 5 that is around 1 8.5 8.5 so in other words you can write 10 by 85 10 by 85 is equal to r because we have done the root so 10 by 85 means 2 by 17 should be the value r is 2 by 17 that is 2 and 17 if you find then we will have we will have 0 0.11012 0 0.11 this should be the answer answer is d Next question, question number 54. In this question, the simple interest on a sum of money is 1 by 9 of the principal and the number of years is equal to the rate percent per annum. The rate percent per annum would be how much? See, so rate is equal to SI into 100 and P into here R and PR because equal years and rate percent is equal. So, you can instead of T, you can write directly R. SI, now see, 1 rupees one rupee is the interest then sum of money would be 900 it means 9 9 900 is principal then principal is uh, si is 200 so si into 100 and 900 into r you can say r square is equal to r square is equal to 200 so this is 100 not 200 because or 9 rupees 1 is the 1 is the interest or in other words you can write 1 into 100 divided by 9 so 100 by 9 100 by 9 
value r square r would be 10 by 3 r is equal to 10 by 3 d is the answer next question question number 55 rama's expenditure and saving are in the ratio 3 is to 2 his income increases by 10 percentage his expenditure also increases by 12 percentage his saving would be how much so you can take it like this expenditure and saving expenditure saving and income would be 300 plus 200 that is this would be the income 500 if his income increases by 10 percent it means it would be equal to 5 10 percent increase means 50 rupees increase that would be 550 and his expenditure also increases by 12 percent this is expenditure 12 percent would be equal to 36 so 336 is the expenditure then we have to tell his saving increase would be so 550 minus 336 550 minus 336 would be equal to 214 so 214 from 200 you can say 14 rupees increase on 200 14 rupees increase on 200 on 100 it would be equal to 7 so answer is 7 percent a is the answer next question question number 56 and in this question two years uh, ten years ago the average age of p and q was 20 average age of p q and r is 30 years now after 10 years the age of r would be how much so 10 years ago p and q p plus q total age is now if it was earlier 20 then it would be 30 so 30 into 2 you can say 60 is the average age now and p q r average as now is p plus q plus r this is 30 into 3 90 so p plus q 60 p plus q plus r 90 it means r current age is 30 90 minus 60 that is 30 r current age after 10 year r would be r would be 40 years answer is b question number 57 two numbers are 30 percent and 40 percent more than the third number respectively first number is x percentage of the second number see this is third number first number is 30 percent more you can say 130 30 percent more and second is 40 percent more that is 150 40 first number is x percentage of second you can say first number is equal to x percentage of a second x percentage of a second in other words you can say 7 by 5 x would be equal to 130 into 5 by 7 650 divided by 7 would be equal to 92 plus 6 by 7 should be the answer next question question number 58 two pipes can fill a system separately in 20 minutes and 40 minutes respectively a waste pipe can drain of 30 liters per minute if all the three pipes are open the system fill in one hour the capacity of the system would be how much so a and b 20 minutes and 30 minutes and a waste pipe can drain of 30 liter per minute if all the pipe a b c you can say a plus b plus c that is 3 pipe in 1 hour 60 you can write so 24 30 and 60 take LCM that is 120 take the total capacity of the tank that is 120 it means A is filling in 24 minutes the entire tank that is 1 minute it will fill 5 unit this will fill in 1 minute 120 divided by 30 that is 4 and entire A plus B minus C would be filling 2 unit so 5 plus 9 a and b are filling then a plus b minus c would be equal to seven, uh, 2 then it means c is draining 7 unit c is draining 7 unit uh, per minute and in 30 minute this is 40 this is 40 so it would be equal to 40 this would be 3 5 plus 3 that is 8 8 minus 2 that is 6 so 6 unit uh, c is draining per minute Train to 120 it will take 20 minute it will take 20 minute and 1 minute is equal to 30 liter so 30 into 26 
हंड्रेड लीटर इज द कैपेसिटी ऑफ द टैंक क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टी नाइन ओ इज द सर्कम सेंटर ऑफ ए बी सी दिस इज सर्कम सेंटर एंड बी ए सी ए बी एंड सी बी ए सी इज एटी फाइव एंड दिस इज सर्कम सेंटर बी सी ए सेवेंटी फाइव B, C, and A. It means this is seventy-five total. And we have to find the value of O, A, C. This O. So A. We have to find the value of A. This. This is the value we have to find. Now, if it is eighty-five, then it would be equal to one hundred seventy. Why? Because the angle formed at the center is double as compared to angle formed at the circum center. So it is sixty-five, eighty-five. Then it would be one seventy-five. And this. Are uh, these are radius? So radius are equal. It means this would be isosceles triangle, and these two angle would be equal. If this is one seventy, then these two sum of these two would be ten. So that one plus seventy plus ten that is one hundred eighty. It means five degree and five degree. If this is five degree, entire seventy five, then it would be equal to seventy degree. And this is these are radius. So radius are equal, and it means these angle are also equal. Seventy degree plus seventy. This is also seventy degree. 70 degree is the answer. Answer is A. Next question, question number 60. Water flows in a tank 150 meter into 100 meter at the base through a pipe whose cross section is 2 dm by 1.5 dm. This is you can say this decimeter in 1 meter 100 uh, centimeter and in 1 meter 10 and you can say decimeter at the speed of 15 kilometer per hour. In what time will the water be three meter deep? So this would be a tank, and this is uh, you can say in cuboidal shape, L B H, L B H. In this format, in this format, the tank is there. L B H, L is 150, B is 100, and S is three. In other words, you can say. Forty-five thousand cubic meter is the capacity of this tank that has to be filled, and by pipe it means L, B, and H. H is here in this case. Here the question is posed in how many hours? So volume of this if we divide the volume of this in one hour, then we will get number of hour. So it would be equal to fifteen thousand. L, B, H we have to find L is given by two by ten, two. By 10, you can say, and 1.5 by 10. So it would be in place of 0.5. You can also put here 10. So these are three uh, zero, three zero cancel, and then we will have 100. 100 hours it will take to fill the entire tank. Question number sixty-one. A field is in the form of rectangle of length eighteen meter and width fifteen meter. This is the field eighteen meter and fifteen meter. A pit seven point five meter long and six meter broad and point eight meter deep is dug in the corner. This is the situation that seven point five and six. Meter and 0.8 meter deep is dug in the corner of the field, and earth is taken out. And from this, earth is taken out and evenly spread on the rest of the field. Now we have to tell the level of field raised. It means volume of this would be should be equal to volume of this. So what is the volume of this? Volume of, uh, volume of this would be equal to this is 7.5 into 6 into 8 by 10. 8 by 10, or in here also you can put here 8 or 10 in place of 7.5. So thirty-six is the cubic centimeter cubic volume cubic meter volume of this uh, earth, and that has to be spreaded across this. So it should be equal to thirty-six. Thirty-six means equal to And if we talk about what is the area of this, you can say area of this into height, and area of this would be equal to 
would be equal to 18 to 15 we can say 15 into 18 minus why minus because this has to be kept outside so that is you can say 7.5 into 6 7.5 you can write 15 by 2 into 6 53 or in other words you can write 18 minus 18 minus 3 15 we have taken common and that that would be remain that would remain in 3 18 minus 3 that is 15 into 15 225 225 is the volume of a this 225 is the volume and h which is equal to into h so value of h should be equal to 36 divided by 225 this would be in meter but answer is in centimeter so multiply it by 100 it will be in centimeter 4 into 4 16 centimeter should be the answer answer is c next question question number 62 the value of secant square 12 minus 1 by tangent square 78 now secant square 12 and minus here you can write quotes uh, here you can write uh, quote 78 and quote 78 is equal to tangent tangent 12 tangent square 12 so second square theta minus tangent square theta is equal to 1 in place of that we have written quote 78 quote square 78 but quote is equal to quote 70 is equal to uh, tangent 12 answer is 1 question number 63 a tent is of the shape of a right circular cylinder up to a height of 3 meters and then becomes a right circular cone with a maximum height of 13.5 meter above the ground. If the radius of the base is 14 meter, radius of the base is 14 meter, the cost of a cost of painting the inner side of the tent at the rate of 2 rupees 2 per square meter would be how much? So see this and then this after that it will be equal to this this is 3 meter height 3 meter total height is 13.5 from this to this that is you can say 10.5 is this height and radius is 14 this is the uh, this is the radius this which is 14 the radius 14 and 20 cos is rupees 2 we have to find the surface area then we have to find the surface area of this so surface area of cylinder would be 2 pi r s 2 pi you can write here pi r r is 4 and s is 3 2 pi r s plus you can say pi r l or in other words in other words you can say 2 pi r s plus pi r l r is same both cases now take common pi r you can take common then 2 h plus l 2 h plus l this would be the total surface area and per uh, square meter cost is 2 rupees that is this should be the answer it means we have to find the value of this r we have already given h we have already given and l is already h we have to find from the pythagoras 14 10.5 and this we can find through pythagoras but the here very important observation is that pi r is a factor of all this you can say 22 by 7 is the factor it means the answer should be divided by 22 or you can say also divided by 11 let's see which answer is divided by 11 that would be the answer so this is not divided by 11 this is not divided by 11 this is divided by 11 why 11 then we have 9 8 86 and 8 188 should be the uh, you can say it is uh, if we divide by 11 then it would be 188 it means this is the only which is divided by 5 there is no need to calculate this you get that answer take so in mensuration question you have to be careful you have to understand that if it is divided by 11 then in many cases you can find the answer but it should be a factor question number 64 64 is if secant theta is equal to x plus 1 by 4x then secant theta plus tangent theta is equal to 
we have to find the value of this. Now take the value of x for example 1, then it would be equal to 1 plus 1 by 4, that is 5 by 4, secant 5 by 4, which is equal to, in according to the Pythagoras, this 5, this is 4, 5 by 4, then this has become triplet. So 3, 4 and 5, so this has become triplet, 3, 4, 5. Now you can put the value, secant th uh, theta, that is 5 by 4, plus tangent theta, that is 3 by 4, it means 8 by 4, that is 2, and we have put x is equal to 1, it means this would be equal to 2x. So 2x should be the answer. Next question, question number 65. A ratio of alcohol and water in a 20 liter of mixture is 5 is to 3. Then 8 liter of the mixture is removed and replaced with water. Now the ratio of alcohol and water in the resultant mixture would be how much? See, 40 is divided into 5 and 3, it means 5 and 3, 5 by 8 into 40, we will have 25. If this is 25, this would be 15. 25 plus 15, that is, that is 40. 8 liter of the mixture, you can say 25 divided by 15. 8 liter of the mixture means 5 and 3, 5 liter and 3 liter. So, 5 liter will be removed and 3 liter will be removed from, from this. This is water, 3, uh, 3 liter and this is alcohol which is a 5 liter. So, this is removed because the total mixture is 8 liter and replaced with water. It means 8 liter is water added. Then we have to find the new ratio. So, 25 minus 5 that is 20 and 15 min plus 5 would be equal to 15, uh, 20. 20 by 20 that is 1. You can always think that when it is the mixture is replaced then if this is minus then it will be, it will be same thing but in plus. Here answer is 1. 1 is to 1 that is B should be the answer. Question number 66. True value of T will be in the equation. In the equation to put the value for example let us put value of x is equal to 30. x is equal to 30 then uh, we will have 1 by 2. 1 by 2 in other words you can write like this. So 2 into 2 this, that is 4. 4 and power 3 that would be equal to 64. So, 2 you can write here 1 by 64 plus and cos 30 is equal to root 3 by 2 or root 3 by 2 you can write in this format. So, this would be 3 by 4 and 3 by 4 power 3 would be equal to 27 by 64. In other words, this expression has become now 27 plus 1, 28, 28 into 2, 56 divided by 64, it will be cancelled by 8, 8, 7 and 8, 8. So, this is equal to 7 by 8. I can write here 7 by 8. Now, see T sin 4x. So, it means 1 by 2 and 2, you can write 2, which will be equal to 4 into 4, that is 16. So, 1 by 16 plus cos 2 cos, you can write here in place of 3 you can write 2. So, nine, 3 by 4, it, uh, square of 3 by 4 would be 9 by 16, 9 by 16, 10 by 16, in other words 5 by 8, 5 by 8 is the value of this. Now, from here you can write t into 5 by 8 is equal to minus 1. You bring to this side. So you can write 8, 5 by 8, 5 by 8, 5 by 8t is equal to minus 1 and minus 7 by 8. That would be equal to minus 15 by 8 and which is equal to 5 by 8t. So, t is equal to minus 3. D should be the answer. What we have done in this question is that we have just put the value of a, we have put any value that is 30 we have in this case put. By putting value you can find, find the solution. Question number 67. The side of a triangle are 50 and 78 and 112 centimeter. This is, it means there are three different side of a triangle. Smallest altitude will be how much? This is like, this is uh, you can say 50, 78 and it 112 
so remember the smallest altitude would be of the uh, uh, from the largest side largest side would be the from the ba uh, base would be the largest side in this case when we have to calculate the smallest altitude so we have to find the value of this we have to find the value of this so first you know the area of if we know the area of a uh, area of this entire then which will be equal to 1 by 2 area of the base into height area of the base into height <coughs> so in the, that way we will be able to find the value of h so what will be the area of this you have to find through your own formula and what is the formula s area is equal to area is equal to s s minus a s minus b and s minus c what is s s is the semi parameter means 50 78 and 112 you add all this 78 and 50 you can say 240 so same parameter would be 120 120 you write here into s minus a you take it a 120 minus 50 that is 70 you can write and 120 minus 110 you can write 8 and 120 minus 78 write 42 so this would be the area now you can make factor so that it can you uh, it is easier to make root you can uh, uh, make it like 16 to 7 you can here uh, write 7 into 10 into 7 and into this is 8 you can write 8 6 into 7 so this this from pair take 1 from this pair so you can cancel from this pair you take 1 from this pair you have taken 1 and from you can say you can write here 6 into 2 so from this pair you take 1 and 2 into 8 16 instead of 16 you can take 4 4 so everything we have taken so this should be the area this should be the area which is equal to 1 by 2 base into height into base into uh, base is 112 into height is h in other words you can write here 56 that is Thirty should be the answer. S is equal to thirty. So what we have done in this question is that first we have calculated the area of a this triangle, which is a scalene triangle, by using Heron formula, and then which is equal to one by two base into height. So we could find in this way the value of height. Question number sixty-eight. Average value of number fifteen. 31, 32, 35, 46, x, 59, 65, 72 should be greater than greater than or equal to this is or or equal to 43 but less than or equal to 44. Then the value of x should be then the value of a x should be how much? Now average value of the number are 15, 21, 32. 35, 46, 59, 65, 72. You add all these. You will have 15 plus 21, that is 36. 36 plus 32, 36 plus 68, 68 plus 35. It means 68 plus 35, 103, 149 plus you can say 59. Then we will have otherwise you. 149 and you add all 59 65 and 72 so 9 plus 9 18 30, uh, 23 25 2 uh, will be the carry 6 plus 5 11 11 plus uh, this is 6 17 plus 7 24 carry will be 2 and 2 plus 1 that is 3 4 5 3 4 5 plus x should be greater than or then number is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 
this would be 9 greater than or equal to 43 put less than or equal to 44 then the value of x should be how much now if it is 43 he is saying that 43 should be the minimum that it would be 9 387 387 it means this number would be equal to 345 you can say 42 should be this number but if it is 44 maximum side then it would be equal to 44 into 9 396 it means total is 396 this is would be equal to 396 minus 345 396 minus 345 51 should be this value if this is a 45 so this number would be equal to 42 between 42 and 51 a should be the answer but we have done in this question that we have added all plus x that is equal to 9 and then according to the given condition we have calculated that 43 into 9 that is 387 would be the total value that is 350 45 plus x is equal to 387 in the second situation we have calculated 345 plus x is equal to uh, 396 then in one case we found 42 and second case we found 40, uh, 51 so value would be in the range next question, question number 69 the tangents drawn at p and q on the circumference of a circle intersect at a if p a q is 68 then measure of a p q would be how much now this is given the tangent drawn at p and q on the circumference these are tangent p and q circle intersected a if p a q p a q this is 68 then the measure of a p q a p q we have to find the value of this we have to find the value of a this now this would be equal from the see these two tangent from any point are equal so this we will use the property tangent from any point are equal it means this and this side is equal so if this is 68 then this would be equal to 180 minus 68 you can say 112 is the total sum one would be equal to 56 other would be equal to 56 because these are two equal so a should be the answer answer is apq apq would be 56 next question question number 70 two. some of the five conditions two integer is a and some of the next five conditions integer is b then we have to find the value of this now take uh, value in conjunctive 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, for the simplicity purpose, we have taken 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And some of the 5 conjecture is A. 5 plus 4, 9, 3, 12, uh, 14, 15. 15 is equal to A. Next 5 is equal to B. Next 5 means 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. 7 plus 6, 13. 13 plus 8, 21. 21 plus 9 30 plus 10 40 so 40 is equal to b we have to find the value of b a minus a divided by 100 b minus a 40 minus 15 divided by 100 would be equal to 40 minus 15 that is 25 by 100 25 by 100 would be equal to 1 by 4 so we have put just put the value and we could find the answer answer is a question number 71 the shopkeeper marks is good at 40% above their cost price. He is able to sell 3 by 4 of the, his good on market price and remaining 1 by 4 of the goods sold on 40% discount on the market price. Find his loss or gain percent on the whole transaction. So, shopkeeper uh, marks is good at 40% above the cost price means if 100 rupees is the price then mark 140 and he is able to sell 3 by 4 of, on the market price. 3 by 4 means you multiply it by 3 by 4 105 rupees he is able to sell 3 by 4 and remaining is 1 by 4 and 1 by 4 is he is selling on 40% discount 
own 40 percent discount means 40 percent discount in other words you can write 60 by 100 rupees 84 rupees he is selling 1 by 4 item or 1 by 4 you can write in this term this is remaining is 1 by uh, 1 by 4 that is 35 35 into 60 by 100 you can write this you can write this then we will have 21 rupees 21 rupees this he has sold 1 by 4 item so 105 plus 21 that is 126 in 126 rupees he has sold all item and price was 100 rupees 100 rupees was the cost price so 26 percent is the gain in this case next question question number 72 a man from the top of a 100 meter high tower sees a car moving towards the tower at the angle of depression 30 degree after some time the angle of depression becomes 60 the distance by the car during the this is given like this this is 100 meter and these are 30 and 60 30 and 60 so we have to find the value of this we have to find the value for this type of question i have told very important shortcut method that is d is equal to h cot theta and cot theta 2 higher value from lower value so d is given uh, d we have to find h is given that is 100 into root 3 minus root 3 which will be equal to will be equal to 2 divided by root 3 200 divided by 3 200 divided by 3 but you can rationalize it you can rationalize it then we will have 200 divided by 3 and root 3 this should be the answer which will which is the value of d so such kind of question you should use this important shortcut method you will be able to find the answer very fast Question number 73, <clears throat> if the diameter of the sphere is decreased by, this is sphere, 25, then curved surface area would be decreased by. So what is curved surface area? Curved surface area is 4 pi r square, 4 pi r square. And when the diameter is decreased by 25%, it means radius is also decreased by 25%. Or yeah, if it is 2 pi r square, then it would now become, you can say 25% less. If earlier it was 4, you can cancel this 4 into 4. Now it is decreased and decreased 25. It means it will remain 3 by 4. That is 3. 3 into 3. Earlier it was 16. Now it is 9. So question is, it will decrease by how much? It is decreased 16 to 9. That is 7 is decreased on 60. 100 would be equal to 175 divided by 4 you can say 43.75 should be the answer answer is the, in this case c next question question number 74 x plus y plus x plus y plus z is equal to 1 x y plus y z plus z x is equal to minus 1 x y z is equal to minus 1 then we have to find the value of this x3 plus b3 plus uh, y3 plus z3 is equal to y3 plus z3 minus 3xyz is equal to x plus y plus z x plus y plus z and you can also write in this term x plus y plus z square and then we will then we'll have minus 3 x y y z and z x if you open this this will be equal to x square plus y square plus z square minus x y minus y z and minus z x if you, you want to open but we have written this format because the value is given in this format so x plus y plus z is equal to 1 you can write here in place of this one x y z y and this is equal to minus 1 x y is equal to minus 1 so minus 3 into minus 1 that is plus 3 x plus y plus z x plus y plus z is equal to 1 so 1 square this is a 1 you can write here and is equal to is equal to minus 3 x y z minus 3 x y x y z is equal to 
minus 1. So minus 1 and minus, uh, minus 3 into minus 1 that is 3. 3. And here we have to find the value of this. So when we will bring to this side that it will become 3 plus 1, 4, 4 minus 3 that is 1. It will become 4 and this will be minus 3 that is 1. So value of this would be equal to 1. Answer is D in this case. Question number 75. Now the question is given, if the distance between center of two circle with radius, radius 4 cm and 9 cm is 13, 13, then length of the direct common tangent, these are 2 and this is 13, 4, 9, this is 13, we have to find the length of this. The formula for this would be, formula for this would be D, uh, R1 and R2 r1 and r2 whole square and this so d square is given that is 3 13 into 13 169 minus 9 minus 4 that is 5 square of 5 25 and you can say 145 root means 12 12 should be the answer answer is c so in this way we have calculated we have done all the questions we have done all the question of this presentation thank you very much for watching this presentation all the best